You may know my next guest from her work on Melrose Place and Party of Five. No, I'm kidding, of course. She plays counselor Deanna Troy on Star Trek The Next Generation and in the new movie, Star Trek Generations. Please welcome Marina Sirtis is here. She's here. Hi. I, I was going to give you a present, but you were so mean about some of my fellow thespians that I'm not sure that I'm going to give it to you. The other Klingons and people on yeah. your ship? Well, yeah. Well, do you want it? Do I want my present? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. This was this was the last one in FAO Schwartz, so I hope you I hope you realize how how generous I'm being. Yeah, give it. Oh man, it's a doll of you. <laughs> This goes so well with my Blossom collection. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is lovely, man. Is, this is you. This is, don't open it. Don't open it. No. You mustn't open it because it's like worth a lot of money still in the pack. And you might need it in the future. You never know. How can you play with it still in the pack? Well, you can play with it. Oh. Like oh. this? Hi, I'm, you know, I... Oh, okay. Take it out. Take it out. No, uh, if it's worth a lot of money. Well, the original one was. They're very hard to get a hold of. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. This the is good. <clears throat> so if you sign this as well, it'd be very nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll well, sign it. I'll sign. What I do is I sign right across Picard and, and Kirk. There. Do you have to do that a lot when you when you go out to like Star Trek conventions, yeah. etc.? Yeah. Do they? I, does I was everyone just, I was have just you? miffed that their picture was on my doll anyway, so I just sign right across their faces. Right. Shat why is Shatner on your doll? Because he's in the movie. Did you meet him backstage? No. Did he pull rank on you or anything? No. Or? I didn't. He was he was in and out real fast. Have you ever met him? I met him once. Oh, actually, no, I've met him a couple of times. The first time I met him was um, on, the, on the set. He was on our set doing some was, uh, was promos. He, was he promoting anything? <laughs> he, was, he was doing some promos, and um, I, I went to say hi, because I'd never met Kirk. And, you know, being in Star Trek, it's like a legend. It is. Know? It's an honor. And so I went, and I was just standing by the side of the, um, uh, the transporter room door, sure. right? So, I, now, I, was, I had the Troy hair on. I know some of you are thinking, who is this person sitting out there? But I did have the Troy hair on. And, um, but what I what exactly is the Troy hair? That kind of Loretta Lynn thing. Right, right, yeah. right. And there, in the thing right now. Right, right, right. There's the Troy, the Troy hair. hair. Very nice. That, that's and, not your hair? Um, part of it's mine. I cut it after the movie. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, I wasn't wearing a space suit. I mean, I was wearing, like, regular clothes. And he came over and said hi. And we just spoke for a few minutes. Was he, was he hitting on you? Was he pulling the whole, you know, I had my own enterprise ship. Yeah. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. Kind of, except that when I walked away, I realized he didn't know who I was. Oh. So it was kind of weird. Sorry, he had no idea who I was tonight, oh, so don't worry yes about he it. Yes, he did. He did. He, you sat on his lap. I did. You did? You have lipstick on. Was that from him? No, I don't oh. think so. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, uh, that would be very nice if, uh, if it was. Now, your, your character is... Uh, no, if, if Shatner came out with lipstick and, you know, a dress Somebody on. Somebody buy it. Somebody. They'd get in the newspapers, probably. Yeah, um, we, we do get in the newspapers. What was really strange was that in the tabloids, it had this whole thing about how we'd had a fight about the movie. You and? And Bill. Really? And it was totally fictitious. Yeah. What was the fight supposedly about? Well, uh, supposedly it was about the fact that I was upset because my part wasn't very big in the movie. Oh. And that he said something like, you know, you're just lucky to be in it. Wow. But that's not true. No, 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 no. It's not true. It was totally made up because we never met. I can't believe that we fight you had with Bill Shatner. Oh, stop. Stop. You get me in trouble. It never happened. That it never true happened. life fight. <clears throat> it never happened. We never even met on the movie. Right. But now you have. And now you, you're off doing so many other things. What happened to you? You go to these Star Trek conventions. Are, yeah. Do you get, are there new generation Trekkies? Or are there many mostly, more. Many more. Many more. What's some of the questions they come up to? Um, what is happening with Troy and Worf? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, my, my take on that is that our writers just saw Beauty and the Beast once too many times, personally. Right. Um, the, uh, what, you know, before that, what about Troy and Riker? Um, why does Troy wear different clothes to everybody else? Why? why does she? Because you used to have the nice, you know, the low-cut clothes, and then all of a sudden you came out in like a burlap pantsuit. What happened because, with that? <laughs> because I was kind of like the chick on the show. Right. Yeah. Sort of the sex symbol. Yeah, I didn't want to say that, but kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But it was very, I mean, yeah. That's not why I watch it. I watch it for the story, but uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, it was an interesting I'm sure. twist of fate. Now, for you, you, it did, must have been you, interesting. You, you did watch it, though, didn't you? I, I watch so. it all the time, absolutely. Uh, and I don't what go out. What are you out. looking at? What am I looking at? I'm looking, she, she was holding up two fingers. <laughs> That's not what I was looking at. She was holding up two fingers. Okay. 
peace. Absolutely. Now I don't even want to love. I'm just going to sit over here. You're, you come from a very conservative background. What I was going to say is that so the, to Greek. play the sex symbol, yeah. Greek Orthodox, am yeah. I right? Yeah. So does that, do your parents see the show? My parents, well, unfortunately, my father's passed away. My mom kind of finally uh, is like in, into it. Yeah. Um, she's not a big Star Trek fan. She just likes the fact that I've got a regular job. Right. So she doesn't really care. And you're also, you're married anyway, so this whole sex symbol thing is all nothing. Well, except that, you know, my husband quite likes the idea that he's married to a sex symbol. Yes. I think that's nice. Now, uh, I heard a story that you had originally, they tried to fix you up with somebody, or? Yeah, it's, it's an old-fashioned Greek tradition that yes. um, you arrange marriages for your daughters when they're young, right. before they can get into any trouble and kind of shame the family. And my parents tried to do that to me, and I basically embarrassed them so much with the matchmaker. I kind of said, well, excuse me, you know, do you think I'm ugly? And she said, no, no, you're lovely. And I said, well, don't you think I can find my own bloody husband? And she was very upset. So they, did, they never can, tried it again. You can definitely find, especially that accent. I love the accent. It's very... This accent. Absolutely. Is that... Now, you, you're Greek, but you're from England, I suppose. I regard myself as British because I was born in London. I regard you as British as well. Thank you. I just love that accent. Could you, could you just say this? Good morning, John. Could you roll over and make the coffee? <laughs> Just can I can well, I just actually, hear I it once? Say, Good morning, John. Would you roll over and make me a cup of tea? Ah, well done. That's much better. Yeah. That sounds great. You could tell me, you know, screw off, go outside and empty the garbage, and oh, I think I that sounds great. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh, all right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But that's really lovely. And and good is luck with this me? movie. Yeah, that's Thank that's you. absolutely for you. Uh, the movie opens up uh, the same one as Shatner's in November 18th. 18th. 18th next Friday. Okay, great. And you'll come back after the movie is, and you'll tell us if he dies in the whole thing. Oh, don't say that. I'm really scared anyway. Please don't say it's going to die. No, no, no. Him in the movie. Oh, if he dies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the movie's going to do great. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. There'll be a million more of these. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. by. Marina Sirtis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the movie is Star Trek Generations. And we'll be right back after this. No, I really shouldn't take this out. Right? Remington.